To kick the series off, we will be paying homage to one of the most iconic scenes in Space Odyssey, the Stargate sequence, where astronaut David Bowman enters the Stargate on his way to Jupiter. Here's how. We created the Stargate effect in After Effects, then imported the video into our app and visually mapped the voyagers on top of the video. However many voyages you're using, it's always good to have a visual representation of your setup. To understand where my lights are in the scene, I'll just take a quick photo. And now I will use this image as a backdrop using the add picture function. I'll select the photo from the gallery. I'll add all my lamps to the workspace. All voyagers that are added to the scene for the first time will light up with full intensity at 5600 kelvins. I'll now position my voyagers. I'll use the hand icon to move around in workspace. I'll use select all to select my lamps. I will use the middle anchor to move objects and the other to change the rotation and size. I can also use box selection to select my lamps. I can use add to selection to select more lamps or remove from selection if wanting to deselect lamps. I can also use alignment and distribute tools to reorder my lamps. I would want to use horizontal alignment. Then I'll use scale to scale all my lamps to the size of the largest one. And then I need to distribute them vertically. To know which light I'm selecting, I'll use the identify button. Right now, I have selected the top left Voyager. I'll position the Voyager to my background and then I'll repeat the same workflow for other lamps. Anyone can now understand the layout instantly. It's time to animate my lights. But first, I select the base white panels and the intensity. As all of my lights are at the moment using the same default white video, I can use Edit Color FX. I'll enter the color wheel under Color. I'll start with temperature. The default value of 5600 kelvins is what I need. Then, I'll adjust my intensity. These settings will now be used when animating my lamps using the set color effects. I'll use open new. From here, I'll load my video that I did using After Effects. Then I'll select it from the video list. The video is now playing back on my voyagers. The playback is instant, but the color data needs to be rendered and uploaded to lamps. I can map the lights on the video using the same principles as before. The most outward lamps will determine the spacing when distributing my voyagers. Notice that the video is buffered again when there is any position change. I can also use color menu when video is playing back on my lamps. The effect slider will determine the opacity of the video. But do remember, the color data will be rendered again when using color wheel. When the uploading of the buffer is done, I can go back to workspace. Voyager lets you enter the world of pixel mapping, the technology used by the biggest Hollywood productions, affordably, without expensive DMX equipment or board operator. 